In this example, we're given a list of numbers, some positive and some negative, including decimal numbers, and we're asked to graph them all in the number line below. So let's begin with the first one. The first number we're asked to graph is negative 1. So we can find negative 1 on our number line. It will be one unit below 0. We put a circle in at negative 1. The next one's a little more interesting. It's 2.7. When we think about graphing a decimal number, it can sometimes be helpful to think of the decimal as a fraction. Remember, the official name of this decimal is 2 and 7 tenths. So if we're written as a fraction, it's 7 over 10. The denominator of the fraction tells me how many equal size spaces you need to divide every unit into. So when we're getting ready to graph decimals, we're going to take every interval between whole numbers, so 0 to 1, for example, and put nine little lines in between so that there are 10 spaces in between. And we'll do the same thing from 1 to 2 and the same thing from 2 to 3. So we've created 10 spaces in between each whole number by drawing line, nine little lines. So the denominator tells us how many spaces go between each whole number. The numerator tells us how many of those we're interested in. So to graph 2 and 7 tenths, we'll first go to the number 2 right here. And now we need to go forward 7 out of 10 spaces left. So we'll go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there would be 2 and 7 tenths, or 2.7, as it was indicated here. To graph 1.1, we go up to 1. And now we go ahead 1 out of 10 spaces. So we again draw 9 little lines in between 1 and 2, and we go up to the first of those. That will represent 1 tenth, so this would be the number 1.1. To graph the number 2, that's a little more straightforward, right at 2, there we are. To graph the number negative 1.1, we go backwards from 0, 1, and then 1 more tenth. So again, we'll need to draw 9 little lines in between negative 1 and negative 2, creating 10 spaces, and then go to the first of those little lines, which would give us 1 tenth more away from 0. So there would be negative 1.1. And finally, we're asked to graph 0 0.1. So we're not even at a whole number yet. We're starting at 0, and we're going forward 1 tenth. The number 0 0.1 as a decimal is the same as the fraction 1 tenth. So we create 10 little spaces between 0 and 1, and we go forward one of them to get to the number 0 0.1. To check your answer here, make sure you didn't miss anything. Count up the point number of points you've graphed. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points graphed, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5,